Good afternoon, guys. We have a a small wind shot here in uh, the city of Malibu, up here by uh, the really uh, hidden residences up here. We have a wind shot for a uh, a Super Ten. They came over here to throw gravel, and they got uh, they got stuck. Let me show you in a bit, guys. They ended up uh, dumping uh, the load, so it should be a relatively easy winch out. Clearly, they're uh, they're dropping uh, gravel over here for the the residents here, and uh, they ended up getting stuck. So Big Flipper is gonna get him out. So pretty berry in there, but uh, Big Flipper is gonna pull this guy out. I'm going to end up utilizing, utilizing my pull pins here. So, uh, let's get it. Pins. It had to be the truck with that hook. Oh, I got some. Do you? Yeah. I got to see those. I got to get some for that. For the truck? Yeah, they're always good to have. These guys have two of them. Short ones. And they have the long ones. This one, I believe it's the longer ones. I mean, the shorter ones, sorry. Yeah. Place. Nice. It's in there. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Put that one there. Put this one here. But this one I'm using uh, my equalizing sling and a snatch block and rotate my boom and start winching it forward. And a master link.
What's this cable? It's like telephone or telephone, okay. Definitely not power. Yeah. Is it okay if I throw up my drone? Yeah. Got one too. Oh, you do? I have it with me. Oh. I love them fucking things. They're not bad. You can see the Super 10 is already hooked up. They dumped the load there already and got stuck. And now it's time for a uh, big flipper to uh, 
do his job. Gear or just gonna pull it? No, I just pull it. I'm gonna put it and uh, take off the brakes, the parking brake. Just help me steer it, that way it doesn't go into the over there, but just release the brakes. Everything's good? Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. You can see as winching it forward, you can see the wheels over here already coming out. I have my winch cable in the, the slowest position um, available, meaning uh, low gear. You put your winch cable in uh, your winch uh, your winch in high gear. You could uh, you could break it, especially under that uh, under the load. So it's it's rolling. It's out of the hole already. Big hole right there. up there. So the importance of the equalizing sling is uh, the sling runs around that snatch block which equalizes the, the load under the both legs of the sling. That's why I was like using this method opposed to having individual straps and two individual cables. Um, the two individual cables, obviously, you have to keep pulling the, the levers to maintain the same, the same tension, but under the equalizing sling, you, uh, it, it does it on its own. And obviously, I'm just using one of my, my winch cables, my red line. Okay. 
try to go in gear forward. See if, it, if that helps. Huh? Uh, just leave it right there. Let me take off my, my rigging. I'm trying to make payment, but I think I have to wait till I get out. Oh. <laughs> You might have to go drive around. I had to go out twice. For the pictures, there. right? I mean, yeah, but the pictures. The pictures, yeah. that link to my office so maybe she can do it from there okay we're not gonna go pay so just that's a good good uh, evening in vegas all uh, right You want to try pulling forward a little bit? Yeah. Got the picture? If you look at the picture, there's yeah. a little bit of water, two spots. Oh, uh, it was pretty sunken in right Yeah, it did. Then it just spun it. Then I came to go, I had to go get a key for this bobcat. Figured, okay, we'll see what we can do. I got it stuck. <laughs> I, I texted the client, I go, Son, you're on your own now. Oh, wow. Oh, you got this one stuck? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it just was on wheels. It's not a track. Who'd you, who'd you uh, rent that one from? No, that, that's actually another competitor of mine. Oh, okay. I own a couple, but I own the track ones. I hope they don't call us because we also do uh, equipment like that when it's stuck. I, I'm going to laugh if I get called for that one. <laughs> Text me and film it. Laugh, too. Do you have your lockers? Yeah, you're gonna lock it now. Yeah. Just get over on this. Go ahead. Back up. Back up. Right there. Now come. You have to give it some love. Go, 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 go. Pretty good. Pretty good right there. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. That's it.
I was gonna move a flipper out of the way so the gentleman can get out. Once I got him into the compacted area, he was able to jump on this uh, metal plate and he'll definitely have traction there. LA, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Fly. Yeah. <laughs> This thing by itself is about 80,000. Yep. Oh. 80,000. The curb way by itself is like 72.5, but with all the equipment, I'm pretty sure it's right at 80. It's heavy. <laughs> That's a heavy truck, yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Taking off all the mud. <laughs> as much as we can. Yeah. Get this thing a couple of times and then whatever's left is left. Yeah. Find the plane and I'll go get the pill, I'll be back to sweeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try to roll over it a couple of times and see if it does. Did that do anything? Oh. Like, eh, just have him drive right through that. And I, I even agreed, uh, eh, it shouldn't be, I would have done it. Yeah. But he, he felt it get soft before he got to that, probably wouldn't have been soft. Yeah. Lockers on. There you go. There it is. Now take your lockers off. You won't need it, go for it, do that. Smell rubber? Smell rubber? Yeah. 
I ain't gonna come on. Nah. Back up and go. I'm off the. This guy's on his way. That's gonna leave the trail. Oh, guys from Malibu. Uh, shop owner closed up. This job site's closed. Uh, Super 10 is uh, on his way back home and unstuck. Flipper uh, is also going back home. A oh, flipper. All right, guys from Malibu. Peace.